have you ever seen those videos on youtube where they make the movie trailers look like they're from the 1950s well millions of people watch these videos which earns these channels monthly income and i'll show you how you can create videos in this niche using this one ai tool so the first thing you would need to do is find the movie trailers that you would want to recreate and in order to find them you could try four different methods the first method is by simply searching on google top movie trailers and then go by rank by most popular to least popular you can go to youtube and search movie trailers and then see which ones are getting the most views which ones are trending and then recreate that or something i feel like that works the best which these other channels do is they search for the top movies of all time which you could search for on google and then you recreate the trailer for those movies people would be interested in them because people love those movies and if all else fails and you don't want to do any of this you can also just make trailers for whatever movie that you want to make a trailer for and then once you have a movie selected so in this case i'm going to go ahead to go for the movie shrek what you want to do is come on over to nvidia ai i'll leave the link right in the description below and then once on the home page you want to ensure that you are using version 3 because this is the newest model and then from here all you need to do is ask it a prompt like this now this is a pretty lengthy prompt i'm gonna leave it on screen right now and you can go ahead to take a screenshot of it to utilize it but essentially the prompt says creates a one minute trailer you could put whatever time you would want for shrek reimagine so this is a shrek trailer in the style of the 1950s panavision 70 referencing the official shrek trailer on youtube and then here you want to insert the link for the actual trailer so that nvidia could use it as a reference in order to get the link you'd simply gone over to youtube and you search for the movie trailer that you want and then you click the three dots and click share and then copy link come on over back to in video and then i'm just gonna paste it in just like that and then i'm gonna say reference it for pacing and key movements so not copy it the visual should feature sweeping wide angle shots rich golden tones and a sudden film grain to evoke classic cinematical aesthetic of the 1950s and then i continue to explain what i would want it to generate in sense of and even different text i would want it to include within the video and the type of background music that i would want in the trailer and then to ensure that it does stick to the theme that i want i added this line in saying ensure the generated media sound design and script fully embodies the 1950s panavision 70s style while maintaining shrek's core humor and epic narrative aligned with the youtube trailer's reference points but once you're done from here all you need to do is click where it says generate a video and then from here you want to further refine the output of your video by selecting the type of audience you'd want whether that is movie fans shrek lovers i'll go for movie fans the media pacing and then the platform once you've done that all you need to do is click where it says continue and then nvidia will begin generating your video for you okay now that it's done let's take a peek at what it looks like in a land far far away an unlikely hero emerges shrek a tale of love laughter and layers join our ogre on an epic quest to rescue a princess and face a fire-breathing dragon an adventure unlike any other where the unexpected becomes the extraordinary shrek coming soon to theaters near you And there you have it, a pretty cool output. Now, of course, when you do something like this, it is AI, so it is not perfect. You would have to go in and make the necessary changes and edits yourself. But in order to do this, it's quite simple. It's quite easy. You do not need to have any editing experience. In order to edit this, you could edit it in two different ways. You could come on over to where it says edit, and then you could manually edit it by selecting the clips you'd want to change. For example, this one. Then it will highlight the section of your script that the image represents. Now, in order to generate different images, you can upload your own media if you have some or you could utilize stock media where it will try to show you videos that are slightly related to your own image or what I recommend you do is use the generated media section where you can go in and generate more media that is referencing your video so in order to do this you'd want to click where it says generate media and then from here you could simply describe the scene that you'd want to be generated so in our case we know we want a scene for join our ogre on an epic quest so we could say we would want something like Shrek walking in the forest. You could select how long you want the clip to be. So I'll keep it at five seconds and then ensure you have 16 by nine. Very important, keep in the style of this video selected and then hit generate clip. And then in video AI will go ahead to generate your image for you. And then once the clip is generated, you could click on it to see what it looks like. 
yeah looks pretty good so you would simply need to click where it says replace and then it would have replaced the original clip and you can keep doing this in multiple scenes in your video till you have it exactly the way you would want it to look you can also select a different type of music you would want to utilize in your clip you could choose from your own uploaded music if you use a different stock library or use in videos own stock music you could change the scripts if you'd like by just simply going in and changing anything that you'd want to change as well as other specific settings such as the film overlay the transition set subtitle setting even the text preset you could do this all manually and then you simply just want to keep editing your video till you have it a hundred percent the way you would want it to be so that you could post it onto youtube in a land far far away an unlikely hero emerges shrek a tale of love laughter and layers join our ogre on an epic quest to rescue a princess and face a fire-breathing dragon. An adventure unlike any other, where the unexpected becomes the extraordinary, Shrek. Coming soon to theaters near you. And once you've done this, you're done. You've created the video for your channel. But now your video looks like all the other channels that are currently doing this right now. You're simply blending in. And you can do this if you want to, but what I suggest you do is to differentiate yourself. Try to take your own unique angle on this concept. And the concept is simply recreating movie trailers in a different way than it is originally created. So rather than simply copying exactly what these channels are doing, you can maybe try another style. For example, the film noir style. So let's say I wanted to do this for one of the movies which was in the top movies of all time being Titanic. I would come on over to in video again and ask for a prompt like this. Create a one minute Titanic movie trailer in film noir style referencing the official Titanic trailer. Yet again, I would go in and include the YouTube link for this. The visual should be high contrast black and white with deep shadows, harsh lighting and a moody suspenseful tone. This is what the film noir style looks like. And then I continued by yet again explaining what I wanted to focus on, the type of camera shot shots I would want, style of voiceover, the sound effects I would want to be utilized in my video, some of the scenes I would want, for example, the sinking ship. And then again, I'm selling it and show all visuals, sounds and pacing reflect the film noir style inspired by the Titanic trailer. And I will insert the link again. From here, what you need to do is simply click where it says generate video and follow the same steps that we did the first time. Now, I don't want any of you to feel overwhelmed or feel like you may not be able to do this because you cannot probably describe what you'd want your video to look like because you're not really sure about certain styles and certain movie themes i have a secret that can help but shh don't tell anybody else except for everybody else that's going to see this video what you want to do is come on over to ChatGPT and you want to ask it for a prompt like this give me an in-depth prompt for a video generation ai tool to generate me a video about and then you would insert the topic of your video here a one minute titanic movie trailer in the film noir style referencing the official youtube trailer and then i would insert the trailer link here as well and then it said ensure it includes the points of voiceover sound effects music media space type of media generation and any other relevant points to bring the video to life and then you need to add in the type of style you'd want so i'd copy this from here and say in the film noir style and then from here i like to tell it to write it in a paragraph because sometimes it gives you too much detail and then hit enter and just like that it has given you a very in detailed prompt that you could simply copy and paste to in video to have it generate the video for you and it will be sure to get it in the correct style because in the prompt it would have gone ahead to explain the style in a way that the ai understands so it can generate all media in this specific style so that's just a tip to make it easier for you guys you're welcome okay now that it's done let's take a look at what it looks like in the shadows of 1912, a ship of dreams set sail, luxury and peril intertwined on the decks of destiny. Jack Dawson, a man with nothing to lose, Rose DeWitt Bukata, a woman trapped in a gilded cage, their forbidden romance, a spark in the darkness. But as night falls, fate lurks beneath the waves, the unsinkable Titanic meets Oh my God. <laughs> in the chaos, love and survival hang in the balance. Some fates are sealed from the start, Titanic, shadows of the deep. A voyage into the heart of darkness. Again, it came out pretty good. From the raunchiness in the voice to the black and white to just the sounds overall, it did a pretty good job. And again, you would have to make changes to your video. You always need to do this. When you're working with AI, you always need to regenerate things. You'll always need to change things. AI isn't perfect yet, but I think we're getting there. So for example, if you want to edit, I showed you how to edit manually, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You can edit this simply by telling it what to change and it will do so. This is my favorite feature, which is the text edit prompt feature. You could go ahead to ask it multiple prompts such as 
has maybe changed the voice over to a woman's voice, potentially make music more dramatic. And as you could see, here are other options that you could utilize to get it to edit. Pretty much the same exact things you had to go in and do manually, like change the music, change the script. You can simply tell it to do that and it will do it for you without you having to go in and edit it for yourself. You could even ask it to change the language of the video by simply telling it change language to and the language you want it to. So I'll say Spanish, hit generate and it'll go ahead to do so for me. Now that is done, let's take a listen to see what this sounds like. Sombras de 1912, un barco de ensueño zarpó, lujo y peligro, entrelazados en las cubiertas del destino. Jack Dawson, un hombre sin nada que perder. I don't know any Spanish, but to me it sounded right. Let me know in the comments below. You kept the exact voice, but simply changed the voice over as well as the captions and it's all in sync. I didn't have to manually do this. And you could edit your entire video using this method. And then you simply just want to keep editing your video till you have it 100% the way you would want it to be so that you could post it onto YouTube. In the shadows of 1912, a ship of dreams set sail, luxury and peril intertwined on the decks of destiny. Jack Dawson, a man with nothing to lose, Rose DeWitt Bukata, a woman trapped in a gilded cage, their forbidden romance, a spark in the darkness. But as night falls, fate lurks beneath the waves, the unsinkable Titanic meets its match. In the chaos, love and survival hang in the balance. Some fates are sealed from the start, Titanic, shadows of the deep, a voyage into the heart of darkness. And do note there are a plethora of different types of movie styles you can create. And to show you just another great example, this time here is the prompt I use, but this time it's to create a style animation in the same sense as I Titanic. And here's a sneak peek of the results it gave me. In a world of endless possibilities, two hearts collide on a ship of dreams. Jack the adventurous artist and Rose the trapped aristocrat. But as their romance blossoms, danger lurks within the waves. Can their love survive? When everything begins to go wrong, a heartbreaking true story. The Lego Titanic. Hold on tight. And once you have done all the changes necessary to make your video perfect, and I cannot emphasize this enough, I need you guys to take the time to make your videos stand out, to make them the best possible quality that you can make them so that you have the potential to get the most views. In my tutorials, I show you how you can go ahead to utilize these tools. But when you do this, you need to spend the time necessary to make it perfect. And once you've done making your video quite perfect, you need to download it. And in order to download it, what you want to do is click where it says download and download video. And then you need to click your download settings. So you need to select no watermarks, none and 1080p and simply hit continue. Your video will begin rendering so you can download it and upload it to your YouTube channel. And note about that this feature is still new. So it will continuously get better over time, just like how all these AI tools continue to do. And also when it comes to creating these videos on NVIDIA AI, you would want to utilize their generative plan. This is the plan I'm using to make those videos. Again, the link will be in the description below. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead to give this a try. So if this was a channel that you wanted to get started with or just something you think that's pretty cool then now you know a way you can get started and also if you want to learn more from me then you need to check out this other video on my channel mm -hmm.